Hey, thanks for joining us for this video. We thought we would do a little bit more in-depth video on turning these planks that we've been milling with our Alaskan chainsaw mill into lumber that we're going to use for our hot tub deck. So what we're sitting on here is actually one pine tree. I think our stack is maybe three and a half feet tall, something like that. And then we also have another stack that our feet are sitting on. And this stuff here, we milled to about one and three quarters inches which is a pretty standard size. And then what our feet are on is a true two inches thick. And we really just want to make sure that we're not wasting any of this lumber. And we really don't want to cut down another pine tree because it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, so we decided that uh, for the sake of the hot tub, we probably ought to have a standard dimension because um, typically with rough cut lumber, it's not uncommon to cut a two inch thick slab when you're rough cutting. So you have room to plane the wood. Um, but we thought since we're not going to be doing any planing, we better make this inch and a half to start with. Um, I think it's inch and a half, inch and three quarters, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. uh, that way we can go down and we can buy dimension lumber should a board rot or would something bad happen, we don't have to cut an entire tree down to replace a single board. Uh, the two inch stuff, that was kind of like lofty thoughts. When originally we thought we would put two inch, full two inch lumber. Well, probably wasn't the best idea because finding two inch rough cut lumber around is pretty hard to do. I think you just don't know this stuff until you try it out and mm -hmm. buy a uh, having that extra quarter inch, you might actually lose a couple boards and it results in having to cut down yet another tree. Yeah, our goal was to make sure that this pine tree could basically produce an entire deck. We didn't know that. We kind of measured it and made some ballpark figures and we came really close. If we would have milled this uh, at the proper dimension, we actually probably would have had too much lumber, but we didn't. That was a mistake we made last fall. We were kind of still early. We milled this with our DIY sawmill, this with a Granberg mill. And uh, everything just went better with the Granberg. So now yeah, that's just kind of a part of the learning process. And uh, we look forward to uh, getting the deck put together. All right, you guys ready? Let's make some sawdust. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do to each board is set a chalk line on them. And what we're going to do is try to make a straight line for the skill saw to follow at the, the most outside point uh, the furthest point we can without uh, leaving any bark on the edge of this piece of wood. Um, so the end, we're going to end up with a piece like this that we're going to cut off, something like that. Hopefully it's even less, but depending on the curvature of the piece of uh, wood that you're cutting will determine how much you can cut out of it. Um, you do want to be cutting on the narrow side, so you want to make sure that the narrow side is up. That way you're, you're ultimately cutting uh, the narrowest point because um, whenever you cut a log obviously it's shaped like a circle it's never going to be square so make sure that the narrow side is up and set a chalk line as close to the bark as you can all the way down and that's where we're going to start cutting so let's go ahead and start chalk line All right, once that's done, we're gonna set up our skill saw and we're gonna go ahead and cut that edge, which will make it ready for us to run through the table saw. All right, awesome. So we got the first edge done. As you can see, what's left over is nearly pure bark. I mean, this cut is within a 32nd or 64th of the bark. That's the absolute maximum amount of board we can get out of this uh, particular plank. On the back side, of course, it looks like there's a lot of waste, but again, that's because the log is curved, so there's nothing we can do about that. The good news is this has many, many uses, so it's not pure waste, it just doesn't make uh, a use for lumber right now. So we'll find other uses for these pieces, and we'll get one on each side, and then uh, we'll have a board. Let's get going. All right, our first board is done and we're on our way to go put it on the hot tub deck because we are antsy and we just really wanna see how it looks. So we're gonna show you guys. And there you have it. Our first board of pine is on the hot tub deck. What do you think, Jesse? Super stoked. Can't wait to get this thing finished. Start doing dances and jigs and stuff up here. Sunbathing in my bikini. Heck you know, yes. Basic homesteading activities. So as a comparison, there is some pine. I think we actually bought that from the lumber store and I don't remember why. 
Bracing. Um, bracing, yeah. So you probably can't see this reflection's a little bright, but ours is a lot more rough, but that's okay. It came from our own property. All right, in order to earn my pizza tonight, we have to get all of this lumber milled up, says the boss. Me. So let's get some, let's get some lumber made. have turned all of these beautiful slabs into lumber. Next we're going to router the edges and that's not something we shared previously, but all of this has really sharp edges and since it's going on a hot tub deck, even an eighth of an inch could cause someone to trip. So we got an eighth inch router bit and that's just gonna take the edge off just a little bit so that if your toe meets it, uh, you're probably not gonna face plant. All right, let's make some round edges before the sun sets and more sawdust. so we're almost done edging all of these boards and we're just about ready to take them up on the deck it's been quite a day we've turned yes. 28 slabs into dimension lumber so pretty exciting we're pretty happy we have a lot of daylight now as opposed to winter yeah the days are getting longer which is exciting uh Alyssa ran a router for the first time today it wasn't very good pretty exciting thankfully definitely an art to learning how to like work with power tools and let them do their thing versus yeah. making it way harder on yourself. Uh, but anyway, Alyssa added to her resume today. She's now a router expert. She can makes perfect. make nice pretty edges. So don't think I'll trust her around the kitchen cabinets <laughs> yet, but no. uh, for boards, she's good to go. Uh, our sawhorses came in handy again today. They continue to be troopers. And uh, yeah, so we've turned uh, all this into lumber and we're excited to get it up on the deck. Tomorrow. And we want to get it up there right away because we don't want any time for the sun to hit these boards and warp them. So hopefully we'll get them up there tomorrow and uh, start working on getting them bolted down. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about making your own lumber from trees, chainsaw milling, timber framing, off-grid living, and other fun stuff like that, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll put a subscribe button right here on this board so you can subscribe. And then uh, please follow us on our blog too. We do a lot of in-depth articles that cover things we don't always touch on in video on our blog. It's purelivingforlife.com. We'll put a link in the description below. So please follow us over there. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. We do tiny little posts over there that don't make it to the blog or YouTube. So please follow us there and we'll see you in the next video.